Duke University. We asked CFOs in the U.S., Europe, Latin America, Asia, and for the first time this quarter in Africa also, what's going on at their companies and we sum up what executives in a given country say about their own company, and it gives us a good sense of where that country or region of the world is heading. Optimism among CFOs about the U.S. economy jumped significantly this quarter. In fact, it's only the second time since the recession that optimism about the U.S. economy is above the long-run average. So that's a good thing uh, for the U.S. Now, to temper that a little bit, optimism about the, company, uh, the CFO's own company and the business plans for their own company only increased a little bit this quarter. So for example, business spending we, sit, we hear will increase by about 6% over the next year. That's up from 5% last quarter. And we hear that hiring will go up by about 1%. That's good. Increased number of employees, not really enough to, to uh, put a big dent in the unemployment rate, however. To put U.S. optimism in the context of the rest of the world, the U.S. CFOs are much more optimistic than, say, in Europe where they've had a long recession, stagnant economy, uh, so significantly more optimistic in the U.S., also more optimistic in the U.S. than in Africa. Now, Africa has a, a very great growth potential, but there are a number of issues, some of which I'll talk about in a moment, that are holding Africa back a little bit right now. The U.S. is below the optimism in Asia and in Latin America. So Latin Americans are the most optimistic CFOs. They've pulled back a little bit from last quarter, but still. So the U.S. is kind of right in the middle of the pack right now if you looked around the world. So about half the CFOs in the United States said that corporate social responsibility and sustainability is an important or very important business objective for their firms. That sounds like a pretty large number on the surface, and, and I think it is. I think that's grown quite a bit over the last decade, let's say. On the other hand, compared to the rest of the world, we're hearing 60% or more of European and Asian CFOs, and up near 70% of Latin American and African CFOs are saying CSR, CSR is an important objective. So that's a good trend in the world, but it is interesting to note the U.S. is, is kind of lagging a little bit behind those other regions. In the U.S., only 6% of CFOs say that they think business corruption, we're talking fraud or bribes, is any kind of significant risk factor for their operations of their business here in the U.S. In Europe, 16%, so notably higher than in the U.S., but not too high. Latin America and Asia up above 30%. In Africa, half the CFOs say business corruption is a significant risk factor to the growth of their, of their companies. So that, it, basically the emerging economies are struggling more with business corruption than uh, in the developed economies. And if they don't grapple with it and kind of address it head on, it will hold back the growth in the long run. In the U.S., 9% of companies tell us that they felt pressure to reduce executive pay. And normally that pressure would come from shareholders or the board of directors, not so much regulatory bodies or in the, in the United States. So 9% really, that surprised me that it wasn't higher than that, given some of the headlines I've read about. In contrast, if you go to Europe or other regions of the world, we're hearing above 20% of companies are feeling pressure. So in Europe, for example, we have uh, the, even regulatory pressure to reduce top-level executive pay, not so much in the U.S. So yes, it's a, it's a growing issue, but it's not a, really a dominant issue here in the U.S. yet.